Hey everybody, welcome to, uh, welcome back, I guess, to, uh, my playthrough of Link to the Past, Rainbow So, uh, yeah, still feel like crap. But it's fine, I'll just, uh, I'll just power through here, because this couldn't possibly take that long to finish this. Maybe an hour? Maybe, maybe more? Hope not more. <laughs> I love this game, I'm getting like, I'm so tired, I'm just exhausted right now. Uh, I guess I'll just do the water palette. That's not what I'm for. Uh, I'll do water and uh, the other one. Nice, since I'm pretty close to both, really. Right. I don't think I have... You know, I don't have both magic sets, so I can't finish everything, but... I should be... I should be pretty much where I need to be here shortly. One thing that kind of annoys me is the fact that you have to uh, do this every damn time. I'm sure there's a reason, like, there could be a valuable, important item under the water in the light world, and if you don't get it, no, that doesn't make damn sense. It just doesn't make sense. And back we go to the place. That we used to know. I don't remember if that's a song or not right now. I'd like to think it might be. But, you know, slowly. Slowly losing my grip here. Gotta be careful with that pass if you don't miss the key, because you can't go anywhere without it anyway. I gotta kill everything, because. And then I'm gonna have to go all the way back somewhere. Like, there's a couple of dungeons where you can definitely make it through them without getting absolutely everything. And then you just end up not being really able to finish the game without going back to the stupid dungeon to get the stupid thing that you missed. So I'm gonna try to not miss anything. I need to I need to go back and watch my block lips. I'm not sure why that's just popping into my brain. It's not like I said anything even remotely related to my block lips. But somehow that's what popped in there. What just popped in there? And I also watched Ghostbusters not too long ago. Like, the actual Ghostbusters. I can't say the real Ghostbusters, because that's actually a cartoon. Which gets kind of confusing, I guess. If you say you watched the real Ghostbusters, you could be talking about the cartoon, because that's actually titled The Real Ghostbusters. Uh, the more you know. What about the key? I'm hoping that there's going to be a nice neat thing. What's that thing I'm looking for? Oh yeah, the thing. Just in case. I got a little bit of pop going. Still sucks. So uh um, I <laughs> found out, it was either last night or this morning, I can't remember when, that uh, PewDiePie has been dropped by uh, some of the people that, uh, I guess, might explain that all that well, um, by the 
some of the people that sort of sponsor him, I guess is the term to use. Like, that's pretty neat. So, a lot of people are up in arms about it. Saying things about how, uh, you know, he's, he was just expressing his right to free speech. Which is kinda true. Like, look, the guy, pretty much. I mean, not pretty much. I mean, he said things that were clearly against a race. Like, regardless of how you feel about that. I mean, he, uh, it's kinda like, would he say that to their faces? I don't particularly care if he's what he says. It makes no difference to me. But, um, yeah, I mean, he's free to say whatever he wants. And do whatever he wants, but he just has to, you know, realize that he's an adult. <laughs> And there will be adult consequences. You know, he's used to an audience of pretty much four-year-olds. <laughs> I mean, that's all right. It's not necessarily true. Not all four-year-olds, but by God, they are young. You know, teenagers, tweenagers, whatever the hell you want to call them. I mean, he's, he hasn't. He hasn't dealt with like. Adults very much, it seems like. Because you have to know if you're crossing a line. And he's like, and he like immediately backtracked and tried to act like, oh, I, I didn't know it was that bad. You know, I'm, I'm an amateur comedian. He says an amateur comedian. What <laughs> happens to amateur comedians? They make a joke that's like. Way fucking out in left field. I don't know. Let's look at uh, Mike. Uh, I can't remember his name. Mike something. The guy that played uh, Kramer on uh, Seinfeld. So I'm not really explain, you know, what Kramer, but. He had a thing where he was, <laughs> he was trying, I guess, to make a point and yelling racial slurs at people, and hell, it was to their faces, and even in his defense, they were being douchebags, but you don't need to make a point of everything, it's not necessary, sometimes it's not even in good taste. So, um, you gotta deal with, I guess all I'm saying is that you, you gotta deal with, uh, if you're gonna say something stupid, you gotta deal with the consequences. If you said some dumb shit, plain and simple. And no one's immune to that, it doesn't matter who you are. He actually probably gets a little bit more leeway, in all reality, than the average Joe, because... I mean, he's known to be... You know, he... I guess, I wouldn't say a loose cannon, but he's known to be... You know, like... Someone who says things just for the shock value. That's pretty much all he's ever done, is he just tries to say things from shock value. It's usually a dumb sexual innuendo. Innuendo. Like, yeah, it's like, whatever. <laughs> do whatever you want to do, but... You just have to understand that saying the wrong things to the wrong people or in the wrong setting is... I don't know too many 
the settings where you can say stuff like that and not offend a large group of people. So, I know, that's pretty much it. Everybody can complain and have their opinions on it all they want. Kali, if he knows, he screwed up with that. <laughs> As he quickly learned, but now... Of course, he's also trying to play the victim. Like, oh, but everyone just hates me. They, YouTube's been wanting to get rid of me forever. Yeah, YouTube's been trying to get rid of me forever. That's clearly what it is. I've never seen someone so self-absorbed. You know, I mean, there are people that way, but I've never seen someone rise to such popularity being so absolutely terrible of a person. <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's donating to charities. Ooh, his tax right off. <laughs> That's awesome. What has he actually done, though? I can give, I give money to charity. I don't consider myself a great person for doing it. I consider it kind of doing my part. I don't ask for anybody to be like, oh, look at, look at that time I gave money to the charity. Kids in Africa got a well because I gave money. Actually, he didn't get money, he raised money. I think he actually donated a few match, maybe. Some of them. If I remember correctly, that was a long time ago. But, I don't know. Maybe if he had gone over and built the well, that would have been a cool scenario. Maybe then he wouldn't feel the need to joke about some of the things he does. You actually see the way people live in other places. Which, you know, can't say that he lives in America, but does he? Well, he does, right? Pretty sure he does. Um, I know he's not from the US, but he's from uh, Sweden, Switzerland? I think it's Sweden, right? Pretty sure it's Sweden, because he always, people always say, ask him about chocolate, he's like, that's the Swiss. No, that's right, that's right. Kind of a dick, honestly. Pretty much a dick. By him, everything he does. I just remember I actually wanted to get something that's in the water here. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, shit Trump got for uh, saying some shit. And like, again, regardless of your feelings on it, like, he said that, at least he said that in what he thought was a private setting. Like, he knew what he said was. Like, he knew it wasn't something that should have been said out loud in front of everybody who wouldn't want everybody to hear it. But like, PewDiePie saying shit, he's saying death to Jews out loud in front of everybody. Like, what's... I don't think that's just like a little bit more stuff. We need, you might need to reevaluate your, your, uh, your thoughts. Because, uh, even if you're just joking, it's maybe not the best thing to joke about. You can say all kinds of jokes. And, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't think... Like, South Park, yeah, they make jokes about Jews constantly, right? Um, one of their saving graces... Which, you know, I'm not a... I don't, I don't particularly subscribe to the thought that if you are something, you can make jokes about it. I mean, it's fine, I guess, if you want to. Um, it's... I'm sure it's your heritage, and... I'm just saying that if you're going to make jokes about your race, don't be the kind of good person that's like, oh, I can joke about that, but you can't, you know? If you're going to be that accepting of it, you know, be accepting of it. Don't, don't 
Everyone try to make it like it's a club. You can only make it two if you were born a certain way. It's stupid. <laughs> if it's okay for one person to do it, it should be a favor to everybody. <laughs> and that's, but that's the thing, right? Is like, the guys from South Park, yeah, they, they think it's okay to joke about it, but I don't think I've ever heard a joke from South Park that was like, uh, yeah, uh, let's kill all the Jews. Well, okay. I can't actually say that. Because <laughs> now that I think about it, there was the episode um, where the boys went to see the movie The Passion of the Christ. And that was actually pretty funny. Because <laughs> uh, Carmen was like marching down the street, saying, like, getting people to chant in, uh, to chant in uh, Deutsch. <laughs> Of hate but, you know, it's not like they said it. They didn't just come out and say, let's do this, right? They were. It was clearly. Clearly a joke. There was zero question they were in mind. Because, you know. Yeah, they push boundaries too. But again, they, they have, like, people they talk to and they say, hey, is it okay for us to push this boundary? <laughs> it's not like they just come up with it on their own and be like, hey, uh, I got this idea. Would this be cool? Actually, they do think, <laughs> yeah, we got this idea. Would it be cool if we did blah? Um, that's literally how they do it. Huh. Very sweet. Uh, yeah, okay. I can kind of see. Actually, they front of everybody equally. I haven't actually seen PewDiePie do that, so I guess that's one thing I can fault him on as far as that goes. I mean, I don't watch PewDiePie, but like, I don't know, I'm a little bit more grown up than that. <laughs> I don't know, he's just not funny. <laughs> I don't think anything he does is funny. If you ever watched, remember Fred from, uh, remember Fred from YouTube? Like, they, got, they gave the guy a, uh, a show on Nickelodeon, and all he did was make stupid faces and voices, and it targeted kids, and, you know, it's fine. Yes, just don't try to pretend like you have an actual message or you have talent. Because if your talent is making stupid voices and acting like a jackass, I wouldn't say that that's a talent. I would say that that's a, a thing that you can do, and clearly it didn't last forever. It's like PewDiePie will certainly not last forever. I think he's kind of reaching his expiration date a little bit. Like, he's certainly, he's been around a while. And he's been just going off with the same joke for, like, his entire career <laughs> as a YouTuber. <laughs> it's kind of like, you know, you know, Game Grumps, I really stopped liking them because just how... Aaron Hansen looks at his fans, just, it's really disappointing, I guess, is the best way I can put it. I mean, that's cool if, you know, if you don't care about shit what your fans think, which he doesn't. He's, like, flat out said that. I just don't think you should, uh, you know, say that a lot. Maybe you should, like, be a little bit more thankful for the people that support you. Because it's not like you could do anything without them. I might be wrong on that. You know, maybe he's, uh, maybe he can completely support himself without anybody watching his content. Maybe he can just be the boss man and do... 
essentially nothing. I know that I'll never watch any of his channels, though, ever again, simply because of how he acts. He's like very self-righteous. I don't think that's the way to be. Pretty much all I've got to say about that. I don't know what's in that chest, but I want to find out. Ooh, I don't know what's inside of that chest. And I really want to find out. Son of a, son of a bitch. I've never been a huge fan of ice levels. Mostly for this reason. Oh, you fucking prick. So if I go up twice, I can drop down into the big chest room and get whatever's in there. It's probably... probably the, I thought I had the compass already. But yeah, it's probably the compass. But, no, it's not. It could be something else. I don't know. I'm gonna find out. It's really all that matters. Find out the answers. Find out the truth. Because the truth is out there, man. I know it. I heard it a lot. them to do something. Oh, sweet. I just realized that I have the, uh, I know that didn't really make a lot of sense, but I just realized that I've got... Like, very rarely do I think say 
said, hey, you're doing a great job. Hey, you, uh, you really help us out. It's the same, but it never happens. You know, it's always, hey, this is, this is broken, it's fucked up, we can fix it. Because that's the world of IT, right? Nobody really gives a shit what you do as long as everything's working. And if everything's working, you're fine, and they just assume you don't do It's like every now and then you just kind of want to be like, man, I just want to break something. <laughs> I just want to just want to stop a service or something. Something that, like, you can quickly fix, you know? And then people, no one will really know that, you know, you did it. You should be like, oh, uh, Okay, stop working. Oh, I'm gonna, uh, I need to go check the logs and see what's going on. Oh, you know what? The service is off. That's what it is. I just had a really big service. You know, I need service. It's not enough. I've never done that, but like, that's just, that's just how I like look at it sometimes. There's just so. It's just so freaking annoying. It's zero recognition. All you ever get is complaints. I kinda wanna get one of those, you know, more like the, the frag grenades on the, uh, frag grenades on a plaque that says complaint department to uh, take a number or something. Because, fuck it, man. <laughs> Sometimes just. Like, what people just don't understand what, what goes into actually keeping a network running smoothly and securely. It's like, yeah, I could stop doing it, and uh, all that would do is cause me problems online, so not worth it. Really have enough to do without having to uh, fix things that weren't worth breaking in the first place, I guess. Alright, let's go. So, I guess I'll just put on my cape of okay then. I'm pretty sure that it's uh, supposed to be a thing somewhere. Alright then. So. I am having the hardest time making it through this relatively easy dungeon right now. Alright, so maybe there's a key up here? There's definitely something up here. Okay, there's a key that I will immediately use. Two 
last key, so let me see. I just have to. Okay, now I can actually go up there. Also, have not been in there. And I've got tea, so screw it. too far off the path I was looking for. Or perhaps it was. No, it wasn't. So I want to go this way, and then I want to go over to... I 
also haven't opened the... I also haven't opened the big chest yet, which is unfortunate. There is this thing in the box. So I gotta see if I can find a damn... Uh, I don't remember where that thing was. Thing. It's gonna happen. I think it's actually. If I go. Go up here, which. I could have just. Um, this place just keeps on for 
send me off more. <laughs> I saw that crystal ball, I was like, oh, this is gonna screw me somehow. Rod or something. Oh, it has to be something. 